what's up world? Welcome back to motherboards.org. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today we have a special guest, our friend David Leung, who is the PR manager over at Kingston. Now, I know a lot of you people know that Kingston makes memory, but they've gone a lot farther than that. So now we're going to have Dave say hi to all the kitties out there. Yo, what's going on? Woo! So, hey Dave, we know that you guys make memory. You guys have been doing that for years, but now HyperX actually stands for something much more than memory, true? Yeah, it really has. You know, HyperX has been around for, actually, it's 10 years. 10, 10 year years. anniversary this year. So we're, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working on some cool stuff for later this year. And uh, But what we've done in the past year or so is we've kind of lended that HyperX name to some of our flash products. So like a USB or an SSD. So basically anything that is fast or the fastest product from Kingston will now have the HyperX name. So, you know, like the product you have here, our Data Traveler HyperX 3.0, it's our fastest USB drive. It's also a USB 3, uh, you know, USB 3 drive. So we gave it the HyperX name, and the one you're holding is a 64 gigabyte. So it goes all the way up to 256 uh, gigs of memory. So that's-, that's All on a little stick? All on a little USB stick. Now, are these sticks, this particular one I have in my hand, it's, mm -hmm. it's HyperX and it's also a 3.0 USB, so the transfer rate's really very fast in this as well, true? Exactly, exactly. So you're looking at like 225 megabytes per second, read 135, write. So you think about it, it's like, you know, like, remember back when the first SSDs came out? I mean, this is like an SSD like speed, but on a USB B drive. B stick, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now, a lot of people don't know this, like when we do our videos, like we have to transfer a lot of stuff back and forth on USB drives. And the faster the USB drive, the quicker the process. You stick it in there, you can be waiting really an hour just for a 10 gigabyte file. You stick one of these in, a 10 gigabyte file takes, you know. It's gonna go really fast. Exactly, yeah, so it's a know, big difference. Yeah, it's great for like, you know, moving movies around, like you said, or even music files. Or giant yeah, files. Yeah, giant files, yeah. yeah. Now, folks, we have a lot of their different memory out here on the table, starting all the way up from what I was joking about earlier, their Snoopy memory. Now, this is memory for a laptop, but we've got all the way going up, all the way up into what I call the Ron Jeremy level. So this right here is the Ron Jeremy of memory. It's 2800 megahertz. It's geared for the overclocker and the enthusiast, and it's pretty badass stuff. Got lots of kits on the table here. You guys really know a lot about this stuff, but the 2400 and the 2800, these are the Whopper products for overclockers and enthusiasts. And now, they've basically taken this technology and moved it over into SSDs, which is really what we're gonna focus on today, are these two SSDs we have in front of us. So, Dave, why don't you introduce these products even though we've been out and just tell the people a little bit about these new HyperX SSDs. Sure, sure, again, so these are the, these would be the fastest uh, solid state drives in the Kingston lineup. So, you know, we have drives for consumers, we have drives for businesses, and uh, coming up soon drives for uh, server SSDs. But the one thing that we really needed was an SSD that we could cater to enthusiasts and gamers. So the one in front here, the HyperX 3K, that's what we're, we're shooting for the gamer market there. You know, you talk about getting into the game that much faster, uh, load levels. Uh, people yeah, really yeah. don't explain this. A lot of people send me emails every day and they're like, why do you need an SSD for game? They don't understand. You've got all those high textures, you're moving all that stuff. The faster your drive, the faster your game's going to play without a hiccup. But a lot of people seem to miss that fact a lot and still think yeah. you can get the same performance on an HDD. There's, it's just not happening. Yeah, you're really talking about getting into the game quicker, right? You know, Because an SSD is going to speed up your system. That's one of the best things you can do to an existing PC. Your boot up times are going to be that much quicker. Your programs are going to open that much quicker. Shut down. And meantime then, between failure. <laughs> meantime before failure, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say between failure. Uh, actually, it probably is between. No, he corrects me all the time, the camera, and I make lots of mistakes, but we roll with him anyways. I'm but, stuck on the Ron Jeremy thing. <laughs> that was an awesome one. Yeah, be. But let's explain the difference between these two drives, because a lot of people in the last few days when I put the videos up, they said, what's really different between the 3K and the 5K? What's really the big significant difference? Because speed-wise yeah. and everything else, they're pretty much the same, right? But there is some differences, correct? There is, there is. They're both using the same controller. So, you know, we know that one of the fastest controllers controllers out there, if not the fastest, is that Sandforce second generation, the, exactly. uh, that 2281 controller. So we know that that's the fastest one out there. Um, what The difference between these two drives is actually very simple. You do not One is blue, one is black? One is blue, one is black, the color. And uh, the, th the thing is, it's the NAND that's in there. So the NAND chip. A NAND is in there? A NAND from a NAND tech is in no, there. Not a NAND from Oh, NAND I thought tech, you said a NAND from a NAND, NAND was actually in, in the box. I was going to say, and he's a little guy, but could he fit in there? You said it, not me. Uh, it's really the NAND chips for storage. 
you know, you're looking at 3K and 5K. So a 3K means a 3,000 PE cycles or programmable erasable cycles. That's in the front one here in the, in the, uh, the HyperX 3K. Okay. And the black one is, I'm sorry, the blue one, the original, is at 5K. So the difference in NAND is the total number of writes that you can make to Oh, the to the set itself. SSD. Yeah. Now, so like smacking a hammer against the wall. You only have so many hammer smacks on this one and then more hammer smacks on the other one. Just a simple way for folks to understand stuff because a lot of people out there, even when you give them basic stuff, will get confused. So basically it is the access. The more times you're accessing writing files to one drive or the other, the 5K is going to be one that you're going to be able to just write to more. Right. It's endurance, basically, right? It's, it's, it's going to last longer. But so it's it also... like the Ron Jeremy of SSDs then. <laughs> Boy, we're really stuck on that one, aren't we? Uh, maybe we need to come up with a HyperX Hedgehog. What do you think of that? I like it. Yeah, Long and right. strong. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, no, really, it, it is about the total number of write cycles. So if you think about it in more, like, easier to understand terms, think about what do you do with a computer every single day? You know, are you one of the types that, are you going to play lots of games? You know, that's one use case scenario, right? Are you going to do, like you do, you do, you do a lot of video creation. I do a lot of stuff back and forth. Saving files, moving files, transferring files back and forth to our Dropbox, taking yeah. them from one disk to another room. We do a lot of file transfers and using the drive a lot. So in your use case scenario, because you're writing to it so much, you probably want something that's going to last a little bit longer. So like the 5K in hand. But a guy like me, what I'm doing is I'm doing emails, I'm surfing the net, I'm going to dabble with iTunes a little bit, but I don't really write, you know, videos or lots of music yeah. to my drives every single day. So every boot once time in a while, and just basic CD. endurance is for your thing. Then. That, that's exactly what it is. You know, it, it's not that one is better than the other or one is, you know, that it's all about use case scenario. You know, and, and also the price too. The uh, the 3K is at a is at a significantly better price because the NAND, uh, the individual components in it, mostly the NAND is a little bit cheaper. Are we gonna see SSD prices continue just to keep declining at the steady rate we see? Because it honestly seems like SSD technology is trying to skirt right up the pants of the hard drive and take them out. Is that what's yeah. happening? You know what, it, it, it's kind of funny. I mean, a lot of people smarter than, than we are who watch this industry, you know. It's like- Than us? Yeah. Smarter than us? Yeah. All right, I suppose there's a few. Ron Jeremy. That's true. Yeah. So- He's funnier than us. He is funnier than us, yeah. He makes better films. Makes a lot more money than us, too. Damn, he does make more money than us. But oh yeah. well, another subject. Made a lot more women than us, too. True, damn. Yeah. We're striking out here, huh, folks? We're the wrong I industry. think we're in the strong industry. We need to restart over and work with Ron. That's right. <laughs> so, but no, but honestly, though, I mean, I've seen SSD technology, though, start off at such yeah. an extremely high price, and I've noticed that the price just keep going down and down. Do you yeah. guys know, like, when will we actually see one of, like, your 480 gigabyte drives? Yeah. For like four hundred dollars, when do you? How long do you think? Just a off the hand prediction, we'll actually see prices like that. Because if you can sell your one hundred and twenty eight gigabyte drive for seventy nine dollars, then we've got to be seeing these other drives drop just as well. Well, a lot of that's also on de uh, demand too. So the 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 faster prices drop, what we see is that there's a lot of demand for like a one twenty gig. Uh, you know, maybe uh, and then the next step obviously would be the two forty gig. But we're seeing a lot of demand on the one twenty gig. And that's predicated on price. Before 2012 started, a lot of people were saying that we would see a dollar per, gig per gigabyte in the second half of this year. We're seeing less than a dollar per gigabyte. Already? Already. Yes. And that, that trend actually started probably a few months ago. Right on. And, and so prices will continue to drop. You know, I wish I, I could tell you that I'm smart enough to know that, hey, the 480 gig is going to be at $400 on this The day. viewers demand a prediction. I can't, I can't do that. You they know, know where you live. <laughs> but I, what I can say, the best way the best way to do it is you know you you go to your e-tail sites. That's the best way to do it. There's always going to be a special on an SSD, right? Somebody's going to have it on sale, but then again, there could be a rebate. There's also free shipping thrown in, so you can save money. The major e-tailers that you go to, those are the ones that you know you you really. Um, if you keep track, if you if you look at those sites all the time, just scour the internet. If you really need a 480 gig drive, eventually you'll find a good deal for it. That's what I'm waiting for because I like to store all my games on a really large SSD. So what I'm seeing now, I'm actually able to get a hold of those, you know, 480 drives and affordable. That's really something to me. I know some users may consider to the 128, but for me, the higher the capacity of the drive, the more I feel safe that I'm not going to lose my information or actually overwrite something when I'm in the middle of a big project. So mm -hmm. yeah, well, you know, a lot of people, and me included, will use an SSD as our boot drive, 
and then we'll store our stuff on a regular hard disk drive too. There's always that. Avenue exactly, too. and there's also with all the new caching programs using a hard drive, the SSDs yep. actually become more of a mainstream product every day. It really is. There's a lot, more, a lot of the computers that that are, uh, especially the laptops, you know, they're automatically specced with SSDs now because the price has dropped so much. Right on. Well, folks, this video today was pretty much to bring you guys up to speed on HyperX technology. I know that you guys all know that they make memory, but now HyperX stands for the fastest products from the people over at Kingston. I'm Elric, my co-host David the Young today. We'll see you folks back here on motherboards.org.